Last year, Colombia received 9.4 billion U.S. dollars worth of remittances. These money transfers from families living abroad mostly came from Spain and the United States, according to Colombia's central bank. This amount of money is very similar to the amount of money that comes in as foreign direct investment. There are various factors that are propelling this number, such as the interest rates of the Federal Reserve and the European Central Bank, as well as the overall fears of economic recession around the world. Those remittances that came into Colombia accounted for 2.5 percent of the country's total gross domestic product. That's only slightly below the amount of money coming into the country through foreign direct investment, which amounted to 3 percent of GDP in 2021. Consultant Andres Bernasa says the Colombian peso's devaluation helped fuel the spike in remittances. The currency fell 20.9 percent in 2022, one of the world's sharpest depreciations. That gave the dollars sent to Colombia a boost in value. Colombians abroad are seeing an important opportunity to send resources to Colombia, taking advantage of the currency exchange, as they believe the money can go further here. Another economist, Oscar Luis Pava, says demographics also plays a role. Hundreds of thousands of Colombians have fled the country over the years amid its decades-old internal armed conflict between the government and leftist guerrillas. While the violence has died down, a study from the Conflict Analysis Resource Center in Colombia found devaluation of the peso prompted a surge in emigration last year, with more than 500,000 Colombians leaving the country, the highest number since 1998. What needs to change is for the country to create better and more opportunities for our youth so they can develop their careers here. If not, this will just continue. As more Colombians leave, the importance of remittances to the country's economy only goes up. Michelle Vega, CGTN, Bogota.